Good morning from Possum Hollow, Tennessee. Thought I'd come to you again this morning with another devotional. What a beautiful day it is today, this day the Lord has made. Let's look at uh, Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. It said, Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, or the deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. There was a water bear in India, and he had two large pots, each hung on the end of a pole, which he carried across his back. One of the pots had a crack in it, while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of the water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the master's house. And the crack pot always arrived half full. For a full two years, this went on daily. Of course, the uh, perfect pot was proud of his accomplishments, perfect to the end for which it was made. But the poor crack pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it was able to accomplish only half of what it was made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be a bitter failure, it spoke to the water bearer one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself. I want to apologize to you. Well, why, asked the bearer, what are you ashamed of? I have been able for these past two years to deliver only half my load because this crack in my side causes water to leak all the way back to the master's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do all of this work and you don't get full value for your efforts. Well, the water bearer felt sorry for the old crack pot. And in his compassion, he said, as we return to the master's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. Indeed, as they went up the hill, the old crack pot took notice of the sun, warming the beautiful wildflowers on the side of the path. And it cheered it up some. But at the end of the trail, it still felt bad because it had leaked out half its load. And so again, it apologized for its failure. The bear said to the pot, did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of the path? That's because I've always known about your flaw, and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walk back from the stream, you've watered them. For two years, I've been able to pick beautiful flowers to decorate the master's table. Without you being just like you are, he would not have had the beautiful flowers to grace his house. This was a story given to me by one of my co-workers a few weeks ago, and I've read this story several times, and uh, it brought me back uh, to those scriptures that we read earlier about Moses, and you know, he felt as if he couldn't serve God, that uh, he wasn't eloquent in his speech. But you know, if, if we do the things that God would have us to do, you know, he'll direct us, as he told Moses. He created us, flaws and all. And uh, he'll put the words in our mouth, uh, just as he did Moses. Uh, he instructed Moses to go forth 
and do the job for which he was being sent. And the Lord would give him the message. And you know, much like this cracked pot, it was a shame. It was a shame that it had a crack. There in its side and it, it leaked water. It knew that it couldn't do the job of the other pot on the end of that pole. You know, we're a lot like that pot. You know, we look at our neighbor across the way and they look so perfect. And they're doing the things that only we wish we could do. But look at that cracked pot and how it was used to water the flowers. You know, it had a purpose, flaws and all. God uses us like that. He takes advantage of our flaws. And you know, many times, and we can see it in many scriptures throughout the Bible, you know, rarely did God use those that were seemingly perfect. No one is perfect. But you know, God most often times used those that apparently, very apparently, were flawed. Use them to bring to bring glory into him and to Christ Jesus. You know, don't fear stepping out and doing God's work. He knows we're flawed. He knows we're not perfect. But he created us that way. Who made the blind? Who made the deaf? And as Moses said, who made those who lack the eloquent speech? It is I, said God, that created all of these imperfect people. And God will use us, the imperfections and all, if we allow him to. You know, I oftentimes feel as if there's no one more flawed than me. But you know, God's put me here and I need to be about my father's work. I don't need to be sitting, waiting. I need to be working. And God will go with me and he'll take advantage of my flaws to do some good somewhere and bring glory. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning once again thanking you for this beautiful day you've made us. And uh, we thank you for your continued blessings upon us. And dear Lord, uh, as the scriptures say and the story we've just read, dear Lord, we just pray that you'll use each one of us. Uh, whether we've got that crack in our side leaking water or whatever the flaw is, dear Lord, we know you'll take good advantage of it and you'll put us to good use. Use us, dear Lord, and let us be a vessel for thy work. And we ask you this in your precious son's name. Amen.